Yeah. Uh, if you look in, at the screen here, yeah, you can see this comic style kind of drawing, and you wonder, well, how do I do this? Um, it's actually with the pencil tool in Illustrator. I've copied and pasted all the layers into Photoshop just because it gives a, a better preview. But I'll just go ahead and quickly tell you how I, how I did this. Okay, so if we go to the layers here, and let me just turn off um, turn off the unimportant layers. Okay, so basically, if you see here, I started with a sketch, pencil sketch, and I took this with my iPhone. I took a picture of this pencil sketch out of a piece of paper. And then um, just pasted an Illustrator on the on the bottom layer. I like to work in layers in Illustrator because you can lock the layers you're not using, and it just makes it a whole lot more simple. Um, okay, so first, after I did the pencil, placed the pencil sketch in, in Illustrator, dropped the opacity to about thirty percent. Then I did the line. Um, if you see, if you see yeah now, um, just turn off the other layers. Uh, there's the line which I did like over the sketch. Just turn the sketch off. Okay, now I did this whole thing using the mouse and the pencil tool. And you might ask me, well, why don't you just draw the lines on your on your Wacom tablet? So why don't you just draw the lines in Photoshop? Okay, and that's a fair comment. But um, I work as a graphic designer and I used to do that all the time. Like when I was when I had a lull in the day. I'm a freelance designer, so when I had a lull of work during the day, I used to just plug in my Wacom intros and just draw away. But now I bought a Wacom Cintiq, uh, and it's a bit of a problem actually because you got to turn your computer off, plug everything in. It's quite a mission to plug all the things in, not like the intros where it's just one simple little USB plug-in. You got to put in the power supply and all that stuff. So although it's there's a huge advantage being able to draw straight onto the screen, it does take time to set up. And then when you're just looking just to mess around like I did with this one, I mean, I was basically spending ten, five, ten minutes on this thing, um, very quick stuff. So and then just leave it alone for a few hours, do some work, and then come back. So it's just one of those like on the side little things to keep me from getting bored, you know. So. I have to every time switch off my computer and plug in my Cintiq and everything, oh, it's just going to be a problem. So when I was working as a graphic designer at my first job, I heard of this guy in the program Freehand MX, he used to draw with the pencil tool. So I thought, well, let me just go ahead and do that. Let me draw with the pencil tool. So okay, I started with the, with the line work, then I pulled in the flats, then the cell, then the highlights. And then <coughs> on top of this whole thing I've just placed a texture which gives it quite a cool quite a cool look. And now if we you're asking me, okay, so why are you showing me in Photoshop when you did this in Illustrator? And uh, it's just because Photoshop gives a better preview. But let's go to Illustrator. Um, let's look here and I'll show you exactly what I mean. If you see these two um, these two commands here, keyboard shortcuts, um, N you hit N, the pencil tool comes up. There we go. And this is what I drew this whole drawing with. Um, let me just turn off, uh, turn off all these layers so we can. And I'll just make a new layer. Layer ten. Okay, and then we'll zoom in slightly. Okay, let's just start with it. I started with the eye. I always like to start with the eye for some reason. Don't know why. And then you just click the mouse, hold, and then you make a shape like that. And then once you've done that, you push Command J, joins it, and then all you need to do is just put a color in there. It's, uh, I didn't use pure black; I used like a very dark purpley color. And now you just carry on like that. You say we want to do this part here. You just hit N again, or your pencil tool selected. If it isn't, just push N again on your keyboard, and then you draw the shape. Command J and eyedropper and then you just get sample that color and I've basically built up this whole drawing once you get into it it, it it goes really quick and then so that's how you use the the pencil tool in Illustrator um, and it's really fun I mean especially if you go to the settings um, of the pencil tool um, let's bring it to screen here you can see 
um, you can put it very smooth, which is not what I like. I like to have it like halfway, because then if you draw, if you draw slower and and deliberately try and make the line a little bit shaky, it actually gives quite a cool, quite a cool look. Um, something to think about when you're doing this. Um, yeah, basically, if you want to just play around with this tool, I think it's pretty fun. I mean, I was pretty happy with the end result. Uh, in the end, you see, um, texture overlay obviously helps a lot. Um, and let's just put the circle back there. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this first video. I'm gonna try and make some more. See you later. Bye.